I mean, you guys know you live in the coolest town. Two of the coolest people that live here are Anna Cordell and Lisa Scarrett. Then I said, Anna, honestly, I've been looking for this suit. And then she made it. Oh my gosh. One of my all-time favourite musicians, Jonas Policewoman, just told 2,000 people that I'm cool. It's a statement that needs a little more context. So let's go back in time to the shop of Melbourne-based musician and fashion designer Anna Cordell. She's become particularly well-known in these parts for her bespoke, vintage-inspired suits. I surprised myself the first time I wore one. I felt really self-conscious, like everyone's going to be like, ooh, you're wearing a suit. I just actually felt like it allowed me to just forget myself a bit, which then made me feel a lot freer. Wearing a suit is hardly a new thing. Once seen as strictly menswear and a uniform for office workers, it's also been a symbol of shifting power and gender dynamics from the zoot suit of the 1940s to the power suit of the 80s. And in these days of fast fashion, suits are everywhere. And yet, finding the right suit can still be a tough gig. Like anything I design is something that I feel like is lacking from my wardrobe or something that I can't find out there. And then, you know, you do that and then it turns out there's a whole bunch of other people that feel exactly the same. The clothes Anna makes are inspired by the 70s. Think corduroy, velvet, ruffles and flares. Some of her suits are even named after musicians of yesteryear, like the Nico, after German singer Nico, and the Jethro, after rock band Jethro Tull. Not only are they inspired by musicians, but they're a hit with them too. Anna's suits have been donned by the likes of Tim Rogers, Courtney Barnett and Stonefield, just to name a few. I love working with musicians. I get so much inspiration from them, just kind of working within the bounds of like what the artist wants for their particular performance or like the mood that they have for their album it gives me a little structure to work around. But her latest commission is for American musician Jonas Policewoman. Joan's flying into town for a gig in two weeks' time, and what she needs is a kick-ass stage outfit to add to her collection. There she is! Hello! Have you got anything, like any dream fabrics or shapes in mind already? I'm looking for a short jacket shoulder pads, like, like high waist, like pleats, like pants that taper, like men, very menswear. What do you, you think? Know? Like a, a shoulder similar to that? I mean, I'm always up for more exaggerated. Like more is more? Yeah, more is more. Look at, these are the glasses that I see with. <laughs> a tape measure from the 16th century. Does it have centimeters on it? Of course it does. Good, okay. Widest point of bum and hip. I'm doing it here. Oh, wow! <laughs> is, this, is this right? Is that the biggest part of your bum? It's not the smallest part. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. I've been so into a pattern. Patterns. You know, I like a a, a stiff fabric. No I'm flowing. Not going to a wedding. I'm not the wed the mom of the bride. Most of the fabrics behind me, just no. <laughs> I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a special shopping trip for you. I'm gonna have fun like going going on the hunt. Sweet. So I love that silver thing. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? That is cool. You who? Hello. Hi. Working with a tailor is the most important part of the whole process. This one I worked with Jung. If I've got something tricky where uh, it's almost a whole new design, 
He's the one that I try and call on. He's a very busy man. He's highly sought after, so <laughs> I've got to fend off some of his other customers to get in. Oh, very new design. Um, we know her long time, 20 years ago, and start work with her slowly, slowly. We are understand very clearly each other. One of the great things is he picks up on my mistakes. He's such a perfectionist, and I'm so kind of all over the place. And sometimes she forgot it, forgot, but we work really well together. You know, like Michael Jackson? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We are like friends, uh, like brother, sister, that way. Very good, good team to work together. You up for it? Yeah. A little bit difficult, but more exciting for me. Excited to check this out. Okay. Oh my goodness. The shoulders are so, so spot on. Yeah, I tried to do the bit. <laughs> yeah, as usual, you have nailed it. I'm very happy when the singer wear the suit I make. If I got any picture, I saw up with my friend, you make for this singer. I said, yeah, yeah, singer, wear. And I saw them the picture. I'm very, I'm very happy. So with only finishing touches to go and one day left before the gig, everyone is getting ready for the big suit reveal. Welcome to Rainy Melbourne. <laughs> ah, hello. Hello. Oh boy. Hi. How are you going? I'm wet and cold. You are wet and cold. It's just a little bit sparkly. Do you want to try it on? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. my god, Anna, you f***ing rule. This is the suit I've been looking for is it really? for my whole life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Oh my you goodness. You slayed it. I mean, I did have expectations that it was going to be amazing, but not this amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I always think about that moment when women started wearing denim and like dungarees and how wonderful that must have been. The freedom to move one's body is like, you know, it's huge and it changes the way that I interact with the world and the way I feel about myself and, and self-respect. There's some sort of power. It's power. I can't, actually can't. This feels a bit like a dream. Like, I can't believe you're here and you're in it. I kind of have a, a major, like, relief high right now. I bet. Well. So do I. <laughs> How important is fashion for a musician? I feel like if someone has left their house to come see you play, you got to look good for them. Yeah, it's going to be, like, great. It's going to sound good. Guess how much better it's going to sound if it looks good. So I'm going to talk about the suit. Honestly, I've been looking for this suit for my whole life, and I'm never taking it off, so. Woohoo! 